This is The Difference Makers, a Paladin security podcast. Each week, we take you inside the world of security for a first-hand look at the inner workings of the industry. But it's about more than just protecting property and manning events. It's about going above and beyond to make the world a safer and friendlier place. Hey there, I'm Diego Viramontes and welcome to another episode of The Difference Makers. This month, we had an amazing chat with employee care coordinator, Alicia Campbell. Alicia fell in love with security very quickly. She started as an airport security guard and moved up the ranks to get to where she is today. In this episode, she even explains how her career in security gave her a new meaning to life. Some of the topics we will cover include the importance of a family-like team environment, focusing on a people-first culture, and the impact of customer service in a security role. Alicia also talks about being a successful woman in a male-dominated industry, the world of opportunities for women in the security industry, and how we're changing lives, including her own, through security. Hey Alicia, thank you so much for being here. We're super glad to have you as part of the Difference Makers. And I guess just to start off, maybe you can introduce yourself. Okay, my name is Alicia Campbell and I've been with Paladin for coming up to five years in November. Very exciting for me. Um, And my position is employee care coordinator. Perfect. So tell me a bit about your journey with Paladin. How did you end up in this exciting world of security? Um, So my journey started off much like everybody else's. I was um, interested in the police field and I wanted to figure out a way to get there. Um, And then I applied to a security company prior to starting with Paladin um, at the Toronto Pearson Airport. And I absolutely fell in love with the role um, and I fell in love with working with people. So I knew this was the place to be. Um, A little bit after a while, um, Paladin had actually taken over the contract for the airport. And it was the first time I finally felt um, content with where I was. I was always, I'm always such a busy body. I want to do and I want to learn. And Paladin right away offered me that opportunity. So it was a no brainer for me um, with joining with Paladin. And um, that's why I am where I am today. I kind of made my way up the ranks, starting as a scheduler to a PRC and now in this role as employee care coordinator. That's awesome. And so thinking about your story and about where you started, Uh, And I mean, going back to that original first day and you you said you wanted to join because of law enforcement, what were your initial thoughts about Paladin in those early stages? It was that relatability for me, the ability to put a face to a name. You know, I've worked in various companies outside of security even where you never have that face to face connection. People will tell you a name or this is your VP or this is your, you know, your marketing specialist or your HR and you never meet them besides an email chain. And the first information session with Paladin Everybody who I had seen an email or reference was there in our face and they were able to answer various questions about Paladin. Any, um, you know, any fears we would have had or any unknowns, they answered right there for us. There was no hidden surprises or agendas or that feeling was it was relief for me. And a lot of my other coworkers felt the same way at the time. That's great. Now, talk to me about, um, you know, the team environment. A lot of people say when I ask them about their favorite part of their life at Paladin, They say people, the culture, the Paladin family, the Paladin family. Yeah, we continuously do that because it does feel like a family. You know, you want to go to work, you especially during the COVID season, which affected us all. It it took a big toll on everybody not being able to engage with your family. It's your home away from home. And that's what Paladin makes me feel like, Um, you know, the people that you may not have connected with in your everyday life. You now have the ability to meet these amazing people. There's so many different ethnicities and cultures and backgrounds, and it all makes this big paladin family and that's the effect that i was looking for and i finally found it wow that was great um so thinking about some of your colleagues and some of the interactions that you've had um what do you love the most about paladin's culture what does that look like to you 
the people and what I mean about the people is the people really care and it shows you know everybody is so interested in what they can do to make the culture better because culture is always changing it's evolving what it looked like when Paladin started is not what we see today and that's the best part it took you know generations of Paladin and and, and the expansion of Paladin to really develop our culture and it's always changing that's what I love the most mm-hmm. and especially talking about the Pearson Airport site where you actually started there's a ton of people there in so many different positions now. And how does that make you feel as a person connected to all employees to see people grow in so many different ways from within? That goes back to the very first day I joined with Paladin. They talked about career advancement within. And, you know, a lot of people say that as their pitch point with different companies. And, you know, you listen to it, but I actually felt it. And I saw it. I'm an example of it myself. And so many of my other colleagues that I started with at Pearson are the same things. They're now the site supervisor or the coordinators. The development is endless. And where we thought you know, our positions would end, it's it's even expanded from there. Those positions have become things that haven't been thought about. We've developed new departments and that's the best part of it. That's amazing. Now, when you're thinking to that aviation environment, what does a typical day look like for you? <laughs> long nights and then long mornings. But, um, you know, just as, as you can picture an airport, it's busy. It's busy from the moment you start, whether you have the morning shift or the night shift. It's it's uh, we call it the city that never sleeps, the city within a city. That's what p- the, the aviation is, is like. And you always have to be on your customer service game, not because you don't know who you're going to meet and, and if they could be your boss, but more so that's an experience for people coming in right off. They're the, we're the first face they see. And security is a little bit friendly versus, you know, um, your CBSA agent or a police officer. Security um, has this persona for very friendly. So it's it's keeping that in line, but also having structure um, where we need to then put on our security face, but also having that customer service side that people can relate to and feel comfortable talking to you. Yeah, 100%. And kind of related to that, and I guess what a typical day looks like in security, um, what kind of skills, knowledge, or tools have been more impactful to you, I guess, starting as a security officer and then in developing for your subsequent roles? Um, I think one of the first courses we do with Paladin and training is customer service. And that is my number one, just because I am a people person naturally. Um, But for those who aren't or find it hard to communicate with others, that course or that part of training plays a a large part in the development within Paladin and allows you to expand because that's that's the first forefront thing that I think um, made the impact for me and, and had me expand to the role I was in because it just showcase to me that I love what I do and I could do even more. There's more being a guard initially is what made me so passionate about this role because I knew the struggles a guard faced. I knew what it was like to work long hours and or to have disagreements. But now I'm on the other side where I'm able to understand better and kind of provide advice as well as helping along the lines. Mm, Nice. Um, It's so cool to hear that you have this kind of connection in so many levels because You've been there, you have this experience, right? And that kind of helps you connect with uh, different levels of the organization and, and, and kind of be able to help them out, you know? That's amazing. And speaking about advice, is there anything you would like to say to, you know, people out there looking to join the security industry and kind of gain that experience or people uh, looking to uh, pursue a career in law enforcement or uh, you know, going through security or, or even stay in the security industry. Um, is there any advice that you would like to give uh, to our listeners in regards to that? I would say dreams are endless. Um, don't close any door. Um, apply to anything that you feel you would be best fit for, whether you have the qualifications right off the bat or you're working towards them. Paladin is very good and Paladin management is very good at, at seeing what's in with inside of you and helping you find your way within your career development. Um, and 
be forthcoming with where you want to go. And there are so many people and so many opportunities for guidance towards your end goal. Because like I said, I started off within law enforcement and that's not even a thought anymore because so many doors and, and my eyes have been open to so many different opportunities. Not that that's how everybody's will go, but it, it made the difference for me. And I'm more satisfied in my life than I've been, you know, thus far. So I'm very happy. <laughs> well, that was really good advice. <laughs> Thank you for that. Um, so thinking about Alicia, what is next for Alicia Campbell? What's the next step for you? Where do you want to go? Where do you want to be? Tell me a bit about that. Next is, and I, I always have this habit of, that's again, the great part of Paladin. You can knock on the VP's door. You can and go right to them and tell them your plans. And Paladin's really good, especially the managers on asking, what do you want to see yourselves doing? Or where do you want your department to go? And it would be expanding my department, expanding the employee care department, um, especially with a lot of mental health things rising and and getting more boots on the ground and expanding in, in, in different areas and getting more hands in the pot. Because like I said, it's so culturally diverse and, and getting more people of a, a culturally diverse department and expanding on that. Ooh, that was really good. <laughs> and I mean, that kind of brings me to other topics that I wanted to touch with you. And one of them is... Being a woman in a very male-dominated industry, what do you think are some of the things that have made you so successful in your career, in your growth, in your role, and I guess throughout your journey in this industry? I, I am very resilient right away, but I've never, and I'm, I'm very thankful to say, I've never been put into a situation where um, I had to remind myself, or I was reminded that I'm a woman. Um, and, and that plays a lot in the partnerships that my male counterparts or my male you know, leaders or colleagues have played is they've always created that safe space and getting it out of my mind that, you know, I am a woman in security versus I'm in security and, and I'm, I'm making changes and it's that resilience. So um, like I said, even for women, don't have that hesitation where that stigma of this is a male dominated field. It's time for women to start dominating and not looking at themselves like that. That's awesome. And what do you feel as far as the opportunities that there are for women in this industry? How do you feel about some women being hesitant to get out there? Um, how can they feel more supported or aware of what's around them in this industry? Yes, I would say the opportunities are endless for women. And, you know, again, it plays to that. You feel like it's so uh, body dominated. And yes, um, I, I could see where some women would be hesitant about that. But there's so many dynamics of security um, that aren't showcased on a day to day. Everybody has this image of what they think security is. And Paladin really shows you there's so many different avenues of security um, and not to be afraid of, you know, voicing your interest in other avenues. Or if you start in a place that you you didn't like initially, not being, um, you know, disconnected and actually reaching out and saying, I, I, I still love what I do in security and allowing people to help guide you into what fits you best. Mm hmm. Lovely. Is there anything Alicia, that you would like to talk about? Any thoughts, advice, experiences, anything that you wanted to talk about that I didn't ask? Um, I would I would really just want to say, you know, believe in the Paladin dream. I know everybody has a slogan and then that's a big thing that companies do. But um, I'm a testament to it. And there's so many other testaments to believing in Paladin just as much as they believe in you. And Paladin is really a company that puts as much effort as you put in, they replace back into you. Um, and the opportunities are endless um, and the people you meet will teach you a lot along the way. Awesome. And I, I want to just take a minute here because I loved, I have to say, I loved what you said to me back there. You were like, Paladin changed my life. It did. It did. <laughs> um, so in your own words, how did Paladin change your life? Uh, it gave me new meaning to life. You know, I've been a, a, a part of a lot of things in my life and Paladin felt like home, the Paladin family, and it, it changed my life and it opened my eyes to so much more than it just being a security company. It allowed me to help change other people's lives in just in the roles I was in, even starting as a PRC or even starting as a guard at the airport. I had the ability to change people's lives and you can see the effect on people. And that's what I love most about Paladin. You're face to face with people. You're not behind a screen um, and it doesn't matter what position you're in. You encounter people and you can see yourself 
changing their lives by giving them a smile or, you know, just the thanks they have. And you may not see it initially, but it always comes back down the line. Alicia, this has been such an amazing chat. Thank you so much for being here, for making time for this. And again, we're super, super happy to have you as part of the Difference Makers because you are a Difference Maker. Um, you're amazing. Thank you so much. And um, hope to talk to you again soon. Uh, thanks for having me. And I will be here anytime you need me. Um, like I said, Paladin has changed my life and I, and I know it will continue to do so. And for anybody who is hesitant or not sure if this is the place for you, I am telling you it is. Make a home here. <laughs> Hey, thanks for tuning in with The Difference Makers. If you want to hear more about the ins and outs of the security industry from real professionals, be sure to subscribe, rate, review, and share. Also, check out new episodes on the first Tuesday of every month. Till next time.